come back. You waiting for us to start? Right. No, no, no. How you doing? Good. We got the Symphony Hall with all our loyal fans here tonight. Thank you. So here we are, M2 Studios, just outside the really fantastically named village of Coven. I don't know where the witches come from. And I'm here with <laughs> Tony Clarkin and Bob Catley of the band Magnum. The reason yeah. we're here is to talk about a great new live release coming out in January on SPV, Steam Hammer, live at the Symphony Hall. So, yep. welcome, gents. Welcome to you, mate. Hello. All right. <laughs> welcome to our Coven. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, the, the, the tour this is taken from, because it was recorded um, earlier on this year, March, if I got that Yeah, we, right. we played this show in April, but yeah, the tour was uh, end of February, March, April. Yeah, it's great. I had a really good time. And the, the tour is associated with the fine album you brought out, Lost on the Road to Eternity. So, I'd like to talk a little bit, first of all, about that album, one of the, I think, the best received and the best chart-placed albums you've had in a long while. Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that's true. Um, I, I don't know why, <laughs> to be quite truthful. Normally, uh, although <laughs> I, 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 um, I think it's a good album for sure. Um, but it was uh, received. I mean, we were playing we, on the tour. We played in places that we hadn't played before, and that we maybe we played once twenty years ago or something like that. And uh, it was selling out all over the place, which was. Uh, fab, you know, it's really great. Um, some great audiences, um, uh, like particularly, I think we did like Poland, didn't we? Is we that? did play in Poland for the first time ever. You can't believe that, can you? And Italy, we we don't yeah, sort of really we don't play do a lot in Italy, Italy but we we played there and it was great. Yeah, fantastic crowd, audiences, great. You know, you turn up and you're not quite sure what you're going to expect having not played there for some years and they were brilliant and you know they all knew the new stuff and like what's the problem why don't you play here more often so uh, we would like to yes of course that's yeah that's what we're having it's absolutely. Absolutely. some doors for us anyway yeah <laughs> and as a hometown gig what was it feel, feeling like going for the run runner to the railway, JB's, Barbarella's, and finally making it to the Symphony Hall. It's kind of like the <laughs> Carnegie Hall thing. How do you get to the Symphony yeah, Hall? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we were supposed to play at the Town Hall, yeah. and Town Hall had sold out, and um, we were in Ireland the day before, yeah, or the right. day before, that I can't the day remember. Before, yeah, we played right. in Dublin, well, I think it was, and... Um, is that right? No, we played in Belfast. Oh, there you go. Um, nice. We tried to get back to the UK, uh, but, uh, trying to get back to uh, England uh, via Dublin, but the, the port was closed because of the weather, so we had to get the ferry back from Belfast to Stranra, Scotland, then drive all the way down to Birmingham. And it wasn't looking too bad as was approaching no, it, it, Birmingham. I mean, it was fine. We, was we actually okay. got to the town hall and we're looking around, mm. okay, we're going to be playing here. We, we yeah. went in. We played there a couple of times before in the past. Yeah. Uh, they've redone the town hall. It looks great. Lovely Everything's place, real good. Yeah. Sold out. We're going, wow, fab, all this business. And um, then suddenly it started to snow. <laughs> like, we, mm. We're looking at, hey, and it came down like you can't believe. Oh. And um, yeah. they suddenly decided that the promoters decided that they were going to call the, the show off because of the weather. And uh, yeah. I mean, we were like, oh no, you know, so it was a real disappointment. And that it was left in the, you know, just left like that. And we didn't know whether we'd ever be rescheduled or whatever it would be. Um, they couldn't reschedule it for some reason. I can't remember now at the town hall. So then we were on, we were in Europe then, I think. And yes. or we were somewhere, I don't know where we were, but they're going to us like, oh, well, do the symphony hall instead. We're, well, oh, great. You know, that'll do. <laughs> and, uh, um, oh, go on then. We must do it. And, and it was, it was, it, it doesn't matter how many times you've done this, like, um, you know, like, we played a lot of big places in our sort of careers, as it were. 
and um, we walked on the stage and the place went it was like phenomenal wasn't it? Yeah, it was like wow I couldn't it believe it but, I mean the, they were just fantastic apparently Bradley. it's got the best acoustics of any venue in the UK and I think it's number seven in the world for is it really the best acoustics yeah yeah oh, it's well known for it yeah oh. yeah I'm going down I don't want to play and uh, mm -hmm. I mean, thinking back, I mean, the, the, the biggest uh, venue I think you've played, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, apart from festivals, you played the uh, the NEC back on Pretty Good Night LA or that 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 type of time. Yeah. I mean, do you prefer do you prefer like playing a, 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 a more intimate venue like um, the Symphony Hall than let's say like, those big barns? I bet that has never been called an intimate gig before. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, the first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, um, the NAC is a bit cold. Um, yeah, I agree. Yeah, the sound is on stuff. I mean, we used to we played that. I don't know. We used to look forward to playing Hammersmith Odeon. That was, we, I think, we did two nights there. Yeah, we did. We did three nights. We did three nights there too, which was sold out. And that, that's the place to play because it's, it's. But that was like it's, it's got atmosphere. It's, it's got a, a lot of people. There about three thousand something or other that's right, people. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah. but the sound on stage is good, so you get a great vibe when yeah. you're playing on stage. The NEC is like, ding, 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 ding. Yeah. it's like it's all very know. separate. It, you don't yeah. feel like a band. It's I don't like it. It sounds great. Oh, we're doing the NEC, oh, mm. fantastic. But I'd rather do, you know, the Robin in Milston for me. Much better. I remember that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> for for enjoyment value. I've got you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I mean, no. Well, go on. Then we'll play the NEC then. Go on, force me. No. We should we should be so lucky to do that again. I mean, we did Wembley as well. We I did mean, yes. uh, Wembley Arena, yeah. I mean, that was is that bigger than the NAC? I don't know. It's it's about the same. It's like ten, eleven thousand something. The like same, that. yeah. I mean, it's a, but people can a lot of people at the back only see you on the screens, so you know it's 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 not that great for the audience sort of thing. So uh, anyway, that's that where it was and. Uh, we shall see what happens in the future. So what I loved about the, the live album, the uh, one that's coming out very shortly, mm. is is the sound is is impeccable and you, and, you, and you get a real sense of the, that you, you can hear kind of the audience reaction as well. Yeah. Oh yes, most important. I mean, uh, like I said, yeah. when we walked on the stage, I couldn't believe it. Mm. It's because some places you play, you, you don't get the reaction. The, the crowd can be going nuts, mm. but you're going like, ah. Did that song yeah, go down any good there? It doesn't reach the stage. Yeah, sometimes. So you go, well, uh, 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 do they like it or not? So, you know, Symphony Never Hall, it, it really, you get the, the feeling from the crowd, you know, which is great. Yeah, it's a great atmosphere. I mean, it really lifts you, you know, and it just makes it a more enjoyable night than it would have been. <laughs> One thing that when we were listening to the album earlier on, um, certainly on Lost Road to Eternity, you have you have big sumptuous arrangements. You know, Rick's doing such a great job on, on the keyboards. It's a symphony hall, um, but there's no there's no full orchestra. Have you thought about maybe sort of doing a performance with with full orchestra? Well, well, we occasionally. I mean, we were in Germany doing a festival and. The promotion, the promoter guy, Horst, wasn't he? He came Horst, up and said, yes. I want you to uh, to do on a storyteller's night and we will do to an orchestra. You know, he's going on, on about this. I don't know whether he was drunk at the time. I think he was. I'm not yes, sure. Yeah. But <laughs> occasionally when we in Germany, that crops up quite often. Um, and apart from that, Bob and myself, we, we did... Um, uh, is it Rock it's Meets Classic? Rock Meets Classic. Did yes. that last year, 2017. So that was like a 50... With a, they're 50, massive in Germany, all those uh, gigs, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. It's great. It's brilliant, yeah. I mean, Absolutely uh, fantastic. We, we actually yeah. used the conductor and he, he got the orchestra 
uh, for, for when we actually did the record for uh, Lost on the Road to Eternity, mm. he actually recorded uh, uh, the orchestra for us. And, I mean, this was done like, you know, great technology these days. Like I, I'd, I'd spoken to him uh, while we were uh, doing that tour. And uh, I said, would you be interested in uh, doing s some orchestration for us? Well, an orchestra and, uh, you know, conducting all that business and writing the part. <clears throat> and, uh, and he went, I would be so pleased to do this for you and all that, which was great. And um, we, we were in this studio recording the album and um, we sent it off, you know, just uh, the the guys here just stuck it on a, no, I don't know whether it's an email or whatever, I don't suppose it's that, whatever it is, they stick it on, sent it off to uh, Wolf and uh, then, I don't know, maybe like a month's time, he sent it back to us and we went, wow, <laughs> like there's this whacking great orchestra going, all this business. So, it, it was great. It, it was um, a good, something we'd never done before. Oh, actually, we'd done it once before, but it wasn't the same sort of thing. Yeah.